An Israeli archaeologist has uncovered the remains of an altar dating back to Genesis, when man began to worship one God. It's believed to be around the time Abraham met the high priest, Melchizedek, in Jerusalem. Here's the details about this key discovery from the city of David. Archaeologist Eli Shukron has spent much of his life looking for Bible history in the city of David. He showed us an area he believes dates back 4,000 years and includes everything necessary for animal sacrifice and worship. In this room, what we have, we have the platform. Mm -hmm. On that platform, it was an altar and the channel taking all the blood and all the other going out mm -hmm. from the altar and you collect it here in this place. In this series, he gave CBN News an exclusive look at what he feels is one of his most important discoveries kept under lock and key. If we came here, we can see that this is very, very important finding because this is the heart of the place. This is the pillar. So Krun says this stone pillar is just like the one described in Genesis 28 when Jacob had a dream of a ladder reaching up to heaven in Bethel. After the dream, Jacob said, how awesome is this place? This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. Then Jacob rose early in the morning and took the stone that he had put at his head, set it up as a pillar, and put oil on top of it. Shukron believes Melchizedek set this stone up in Jerusalem, just like Jacob did in Bethel. What I am saying, worshiping God the same way like Jacob, or Jacob worshiping God the same way like Melchizedek. Shukron believes at this spot, man began to worship one God. And this is the beginning of the monotheism, and because that is very, very special. Mm. We are in a very, very important place. Go back to Melchizedek, go back to Abraham time. Understand which way these people are worshiping God in the beginning. Sukran says it contrasts with ancient worship in other places. If you go in that time to other places in the world, in Egypt or in Mesopotamia, you can see the temples with gold and mm -hmm. idols and, I don't know, pillars and uh, here it's simple. Mm. The stone, animals, sacrifice, the stone is the house of God, not gold and diamond. Everything is simple. Yeah. Yeah. This is what God wants us, to be simple. It's fantastic. For what? What reason? To connect mm. it with God. Sukran says the combination of the altar for sacrifice, the blood channel, the olive press for anointing oil, the place to tie up the sacrificial animals, where they divided the sacrifice, lead him to believe this was the place where Melchizedek met Abraham. Genesis 14 describes the meeting. Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God Most High. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And he gave him a tithe of all. He blessed Abraham with bread and wine. And Abraham gave him a tithe. Why Abraham gave him a tithe? Because mm. he was worshiping God. A tradition and way of life that continues some 4,000 years later. What are you doing today? The Jewish, the Christian, we're blessing the bread and wine. Different way, but blessing bread and wine, and we, we anointed what all that started here in the city of David in the temple of Melchizedek. This is the place. Sukran says this area was closed to make room for another place of worship. They filled it, they closed it. Why? Because no more worshiping area. Let's go focus to Mount Moriah, to the temple that that Solomon built on Mount Moriah. Sukran sees this area as monotheism's ground zero, predating the temples of Solomon and Herod on the Temple Mount by hundreds of years. Because this is the beginning of the mountain, so the Temple Zero. Then we have the second temple and first temple, Mount Moriah, but this is Temple Zero. This is the beginning of the monotheism here, with Melchizedek as the high priest. This area is still being excavated, and one day the public should be able to see for themselves where mankind began to worship one God. Alpha.